In the last lecture, we learned how to render content conditionally in React. In this lecture, we are going to use that concept and we are going to render this create product form conditionally. So here what we want is, we want to have a button and when the user clicks on that button, it should display this form. And in this form, along with this add product button, we also want to have a cancel button. So when the user clicks on this add product button, it should create a new product and then it should remove this form from the web page. And also when the cancel button is clicked, we want to hide this form. Let's see how we can achieve this. For that, let's go back to VS code. And here, let's go to this create product component. So in this create product component, we are rendering this product form. So before this product form, let's go ahead and let's create a button element. And here, let's say create product. So when this button is clicked, the form should be shown. And when the form is submitted or canceled, this button should be shown. So currently, if I go to the web page, in the web page, both create product and this form is being shown. But only one of these two should be rendered in the web page. So the first thing which we need to do here is inside this product form component, we need to create a new state. For that, let's first import use state from React library. And let's use this use state function to create a new state. So this use state function is going to return an array. Let's use the array destructuring syntax here. And this array is going to have two elements. A variable let's call it maybe show form and a state updating function let's call it update show form so here this state will store the information of whether the create product form should be displayed or not so initially we don't want to display the create product form so for the initial value here let's pass false now when the user clicks on this button at that time we want to show the create product form so on this button element let's listen to click event and to this let's assign a function and let's call this function on create new product let's go ahead and let's create this function and inside this function let's set this show form to true for that we can call this state updating function and to this let's pass true and here let's also use this function keyword now here we want to render one of these components based on the value of this show form if this show form is false in that case we want to display this button element but if this show form is true we want to display this product form component so here we want to render a content conditionally now to do that here i'm going to show you another approach so what you can do is you can wrap this button element within curly braces like this and before this button element you can write the condition so here if this show form is false so before this i'm going to use this not operator in that case we want to return this button element so here i can use this end operator now why it will work it will work because the end operator returns the last truthy value. So in this case, when this show form is false, we are using this not operator on this. So this expression is going to return true. And then we have this end operator. And since this value here is not an empty string, it is a truthy value. So the end operator returns the last truthy value in the expression. In this expression, we have two truthy values. First truthy value is this, and the second truthy value is this. So from this expression, the last truthy value, that means this value will be returned. That means this button element will be returned. You can also remember it in this way. If we are using this end operator, and if the first operand of that end operator returns true, and if the second operand is also returning true, that means if it is not an empty string or false or any falsy value, in that case, this end operator will return the second operand. 
let's do the same thing here for this product form component so again let's wrap it within curly braces like this and here before this product form component let's again use a condition so this time we want to check if this show form is true okay so if it is true in that case we want to return this product form component but if it is false in that case we want to return this button element so initially when the page loads we are setting this show form to false so initially when the page will load it should display this button element let's see that let's save the changes let's go to the web page and here you will notice that currently it is displaying the button element now when i click on this button here this show form variable it will be set to true by this update show form function so when it is true it should display this product form component so when i click on this create product button it is displaying this product form component so first part is complete here now what we also want is when the user creates a new product and when he clicks on this add product button that product should be added in this product list so it is already happening and this form again should be hidden and here we also want to show a cancel button so when the user clicks on that cancel button the form should not be submitted but this form should be hidden for that let's go back to vs code and let's go to this product form component so here we have this button element let's go ahead and let's add one more button element and the type of this button element should be button it should not be submit it should be button because here when this button is clicked we don't want to submit the form and let's call this button cancel now in the parent component that means in this create product component let's go ahead and let's create one more function so let me copy it from here and let's call this function on product submitted or cancelled now inside this function we want to set this show form state to false so let's change that value and now we want to pass this function to this product form component so for that we can simply create an attribute on this product form let's call it maybe on cancel and to this we can assign this function so here inside this product form component we will have access to this function where we are setting this show form to false okay so this on cancel will be created as a property on the props object so this component here it is going to receive the props object right and on this props object we will have a property called on cancel which will point to this function so now what we can do is on this button element we can use on click listener and when the click event happens on this button we want to call props dot on cancel with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page so let's refresh the page let me click on this create product so here you can see we have two buttons the add product button and cancel button when i click on this cancel button this form has been hidden and we want to do the same thing when this add product button is clicked for that here we are handling the submit event on this form using this create product event handler function so inside this create product event handler function let's also call the on cancel method so here let's say props dot on cancel with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's refresh the page let's click on this create product button so the form has opened let's try to create a new product and when i click on this add product button it should create a new product with this name test3 and then this form should also hide so when i click on this add product button you can see that test3 has been created and the form has also hidden when i click on this create product again the form will appear and when i click on this cancel button the form has disappeared now you can go ahead and design this create product button and this cancel button by your own 
so in this lecture we learned another approach of rendering a content conditionally by using end operator